Hey everybody, Maction here from TabletRoms.com, and I'm back with the first portion of my video review of the Prestige 10. This one is all about hardware. So let's talk a little bit about the hardware. For starters, it's running the A8 processor, and that's a 1.2 gigahertz processor, 16 gigs of onboard memory. Of course, that does mean that you only can use around the neighborhood of 14, but that's the way it goes. You can, however, expand the memory through the micro SD card slot with a micro SD card of up to 32 gigabytes. It has one gigabyte DDR3 RAM on board, and of course, a good wireless card that supports wireless B, G, and N. Bluetooth 4.0 is the module that they've got running on there. Now it does have a speaker on the back. It is one speaker. Don't be confused. It has two openings, but it is one speaker, in fact. There is a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front and a 2 megapixel camera on the rear. These can be used for taking still photos, taking video, video conferencing through Skype, or whatever your preferred method of video conferencing is. Along the side, of course, we have a standard 3.5mm headphone jack. It does not support microphone, however, to be plugged in through the headphone jack. It does have a mini HDMI port, which will support 1080p output. The tablet itself, as a brief side note, will itself support 2160p. Then there are two micro USB ports. So you can use one to be connecting to your computer, or one to be charging through, and you can use one to plug into your flash drive or your USB keyboard. After that, of course, you have the reset button and the power jack. This is what will connect to your AC adapter. And then last but certainly not least, a micro SD card slot. Now the screen itself, as I mentioned previously, is 1024 by 600, and if I'm not mistaken, that is the 16 by 9 ratio, um, and it actually does a pretty darn good job of displaying widescreen video. 5-point capacitive multi-touch. The Prestige 10, much like the Prestige 7, has a single piece of plastic for the back. Visual Land uses a plastic that's really good. Um, and I say it's really good because, number one, it's easy to hold on to, especially with the texturing that they do on the back. And number two, it doesn't cause my hands to sweat really bad, like some of the other tablets that I've held. Samsung, I'm looking at you. If you have any questions that you'd like me to address in the next two video segments for this video review, you're welcome to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.